That's exactly what happened in 1938 when Roy Plunkett, a chemist at DuPont, tried to create a new refrigerant gas. He stored tetrafluoroethylene in pressurized cylinders and cooled it overnight, expecting to continue his tests the next day. But when he opened the valve, nothing came out. Confused but curious, Plunkett did what any good scientist does. He investigated. He cut the cylinder open and found a strange waxy white powder lining the inside. It didn't look like much, but the substance was incredibly slick, heat resistant, and chemically stable. It didn't react with anything, didn't stick to anything, and was practically indestructible. That powder was polytetrafluoroethylene, later trademarked as Teflon. At first, it was used in industrial and military applications, especially during World War II. Its resistance to corrosion made it ideal for sealing pipes and containers used in the Manhattan Project. But the real breakthrough came in the 1960s, when someone realized how perfect Teflon was for one very specific household use, nonstick cookware. 